Hey guys, it's us again. Um, as you can probably tell by our t-shirts, we're going to be doing something Harry Potter themed today. Again. And we decided we want to do the Harry Potter tag, so... So we saw Joey Graceffa do this with Jim Chapman, and we decided to give it a try. We're going to do it a little bit differently though, and we're going to write down our answers. And then... Discuss. Reveal. <laughs> reveal. Reveal, yeah. And if we keep looking that way, that's because our laptop is there with the questions. So the first question is... So now we're going to repeat the questions and go through our answers, and I'm sure this will spark some conversation. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so, number one, favorite book. I said Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Deathly Hallows. I put say? that too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I don't know, I just like, I got so into it because of the first book, and the last book was just like, yeah, ending, but I I don't know how to explain I said, it. I said the first one because that's where you first get introduced to the magic, obviously. Obviously. Um, Easy and then to. I put the last one because I like when it's action filled, and that was definitely action filled. And then it just it just wraps everything up yeah. perfectly, like it just the feel. Number two, favorite movie. I only put one. I put two. I said the Philosopher's Stone and the Half Blood Prince. I put <laughs> The Prisoner of Azkaban, and I put a picture of Scabbers, and wrote evil. <laughs> Cute. Um, obviously Philosopher's Stone, because, like, it was when it started, and, like, you got introduced to all the characters, like, as their roles in, like, real people, and I felt they did such a good job with choosing the characters, like, they chose really well. And, like, they're so adorable, and, like, that's where the adventure begins, so I definitely love that movie. I could watch it, like, a million times. And um, Half Blood Prince, like, that's where it's the beginning of the end. Like, you know, so much is going on, and, like, it's just like, yeah. I love all the movies, obviously, but I picked A Prisoner of Azkaban because I feel like that's the one that was the closest to the books for me. Yeah. So that's why I picked it. I love all the other ones, but I feel like a lot of stuff has changed and a lot of stuff is left out. Yeah. So this one was the closest adaption. Least favorite book. I said Chamber of Secrets because, I don't know, it just, it didn't do as much for me as the other ones. Like, I obviously still adore it, but I don't know, it just wasn't as... I didn't, I wasn't like as involved in that one as the other ones. I put the same thing <laughs> and I put a picture of a snake. That's what's clear. I didn't know we could draw for all of um, them. I picked the Chamber of Secrets because I like that. Wait, is this about the movie or the book? Book. Okay, yeah. Okay, well first of all, I read this book when I was young so I was like terrified to go to the bathroom in case there's a giant snake in my toilet or something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I felt like this one... It was just kind of slow. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I loved it when I was younger, but now looking back on it, it's just kind of slow, not that much action, so. Yeah. So parts of the books and movies that made you cry. I said all the dying and the end. Like, I'm the biggest sap, as some people know. I cry at everything in books and movies, and especially when somebody dies. I am just like a floodgate of emotion. <laughs> and obviously the end, because I was like, oh my god, all of it's over. So I'm gonna have like emotional right now. Every death, <laughs> especially Sirius, Hedwig, and Dobby. So sad. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't cry when Dumbledore died. I did. I'm a bad person. Or when Mad Eye died, I didn't really cry. But like, 
when Heather died. I know that like in the movie they didn't do it right, but it yeah. it's but it's still like still yeah terrible. Serious sad. like I mm, no. everything about it was just like it's ball and Dobby. I just oh it was just so it's like so sad. Dobby is finally yeah. free with friends and all this kind of stuff. I was like, but you're dead. And Fred. Oh my gosh, Fred. And Snape. Oh my god, how could I forget? Snape. You finally, like, finally, in the end, everybody realizes, like, what a great, like, man he was. And they feel guilty for hating him for so long. Yeah. That it just makes sense. And you're just like, oh my god, Snape. <laughs> Five was if you could hook up with any Harry Potter character, who would it be? I said Draco Malfoy. Cause not only is he really attractive, he is like bad boy too. So like I find that I find that really attractive, and he probably knows what he's doing. I put two serious business. Harry, sexy glasses, Potter, and Malfoy. I'm sorry. I know. Like, like if I had to choose another one, it'd be Harry because like freaking mm, favorite character. So, I want a little cliche for one line. I put two. I put Harry Potter and Sirius Black. Because, obviously, Harry is the hero of everything. And I know he does have this, like, angsty thing. Which I think he has a right to. Except, you know, pushing all his friends over who just want to help him. Like, I understand that to an extent. But, like, I can't help but still love him through the yeah. whole thing anyways. Because it is, like, centered around him. So, obviously, I'm cliche with thinking, like, he is one of my favorites. But... Also, Sirius Black, like, I don't know, something about him, you can't help but love him. Yeah. Even when he's, like, such a little shit to Snape, <laughs> like... I put, obviously, Harry, Luna, Neville, and Dobby. Dobby, I just like, like that little elf, I just feel like him, man. <laughs> and then Harry, I just... For obvious Harry reasons. Is just Harry. <laughs> Luna is just so whimsical, and, like... I want to be her friend. Yeah. And then Neville, I just like feel bad for him. Then I'm like, holy shit, you're actually a badass. Yes, and you're awesome. I love that. I love that in the end. What would your Patronus be? This is so easy for me. I said a cat, and then I drew a little obvious. cat picture. Because if you don't know already, I love cats way too much. I put down two options because I don't know. Yeah. So I put down a bunny or a chipmunk. <laughs> I could see those other one for you. So, I don't know. I feel like one of those. Yeah, definitely one of those would be yours. So, if you could pick any one of the Deathly Hallows, what would it be? I said the Invisibility Cloak. Now, I was leaning towards the Elder One, but I realized if I had that, everybody would be after me to, like, kill me just for the Elder One, even if I had it to defend myself. Like... I have to sleep sometime. So I chose the invisibility cloak because you could do some pretty awesome stuff with that. Especially like pranking people. Like they'd be like, where did that come from? The cloak as well. Um, yeah. The elder wand, I didn't pick that for the same reason. Yeah. And then I didn't pick the stone because as awesome as it would be to see someone who died, I would get depressed. Yeah. Like you would like, see them. They're not... They're there, there, but they're not, and it's just, it's I would be so sad. What house would you be in? And mine is Gryffindor. Now, I know a lot of people just say, like, yeah, I'm totally in this house, but we both have done the Pottermore quiz, and it sorted me into Gryffindor, and I was so happy. Like, I don't know what, like, qualities that make me a Gryffindor. Like, I feel like if... I can be brave in situations, and like, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a loyal friend, and like, in those aspects. Before Pottermore, I took a ton of quizzes, <laughs> yeah. and None of they them. were stuck, because you could tell, yeah. like, the answers led to which house. Yeah, they're like, yeah. are you cunning? Are you brave? Do you like Are blue? you smart? So, I don't know, I took a ton of those, and it was always a toss-up between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Yeah. And then when I took the Pottermore quiz... Like, I was terrified that I was going to be Hufflepuff. No offense to you Hufflepuffers. I was not expecting my... Yeah. I got Ravenclaw. I don't know why I'm a Ravenclaw. I'm not like, I'm smart, but I'm not overly book smart. I feel like I'm more 
like a, I can be a deep thinker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like totally. question things and be that kind of smart and be like whimsical. Yeah. And just weird. Yeah. Like I said, more Luna than <laughs> yeah. like Cho Chang or something. Stupid Which is hell. better <laughs> because I don't think a lot of people ever actually like Cho no, Chang. It's just it's hell. If you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? I said Daniel Radcliffe or Emma Watson because obviously he's Harry Potter and like I love him and I find him attractive obviously but like I feel like he's like a genuinely like nice guy on top of that too yeah. so like he'd like you know if he met a fan he'd be like really nice about it also Emma Watson like who would not want to meet Emma Watson like Seriously? she is fantastic and like she's such a good role model i'm really bad at just picking like one <laughs> answer <laughs> <you>? <laughs> three <laughs> okay technically four. Oh my goodness okay. daniel radcliffe with the big heart beside him <laughs> the phelps twins or Vanda lynch and obviously daniel radcliffe because he's harry potter yeah but like when i first saw him on that screen like i instantly fell in love with him he was like my first celebrity crush and he's such a good person yeah. so and the twins because i mean they capture your hearts it's like the weasley twins yeah I mean, they do you kind of have to yeah and then evanda lynch because she's such a giant like potterhead and everything i feel yeah, like we just, just be best friends you could just talk for hours have you played any of the video games i said yes because not the Christmas that just passed with the one for it. I did ask for one of the games and I got the years four through seven for the Lego Harry Potter. And like obviously I'd want like more of them in like the first years too, but like I got those and I was really excited. So I played that for like a week straight. I said yes. Harry Potter Lego bitches. <laughs> bitches. I have both of them. So oh no, bought them both. Any way to relive the magic, honestly. Social life. When you're Harry got... Potter, that is a social life. Yeah. If you were on a Quidditch team, what position would you play? I said chaser because I don't think I could be fast enough to be the seeker. I feel like like that'd be an awesome position and a lot of people would want to be the seeker, but like you need a lot of skill for that. And I just don't think like I would have that skill. I would not be a keeper because I suck at like blocking thing i actually put seeker oh really yeah okay i didn't want to be a keeper because yeah it's like being a goalie for hockey and i would suck i would let everything in <laughs> i'd Honestly. be like avoiding getting yeah. hit by hit so i i'd just be really bad and then for a beater i don't really think i mean i know you have the giant bat but i also don't think i have enough strength to like give it a really good mm -hmm. hit yeah and i just kind of be terrified of it coming at me all the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, for a chaser, I almost put that down. Yeah. And I was like, you know, maybe. But then I'm like, then I have to like catch the quaffle and throw it. And I'm really uncoordinated. Were you happy with the ending? And I said yes. But a couple little dots there. Because, like, there were some things, like, I wasn't, ex like, the book, like, pretty much all of it, yes. In the book, I would have rather had Luna and Neville together, obviously, because, like, they're adorable. Yeah. But in the movie, they mended that and, like, had that happen, but, like, they did leave some stuff out in the movie mm -hmm. that I would have liked to see. But, like, overall, obviously, yes, I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I put yes and no. Yeah. Um, for the book, obviously, I loved the ending, you know, like, the happy mm -hmm. ending and everything. Yeah. Um, I did like how we got to see his children, but like, mm -hmm. that was kind of cool. I almost kind of wish we might have gotten a little bit of more information on, like, the trio and, like... Yeah. Like, like not just did, the kids, but, like, about What they them. did. Yeah. Because, like... I mean, so I liked that part, but at the same time, I kind of didn't like knowing... Like about the kids and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I wish it kind of just ended like the death and then like all was well. Mm -hmm. I liked, I thought the epilogue. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that part was done really well. 
I wish we could have saw like Scorpius though. Yeah. I mean, we only saw the back of him. I'm like, I love Birdie. Yeah, and um, Floral, uh, Floral, wow, wow. Fleur and Bill's yeah. daughter. I, and Teddy. 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 Besides, I, like, cutting out those characters is done really well. Yeah. But then, like, the ending of the movie itself, like, Voldemort's death just made me angry. Oh my god, yes. Because he's supposed like, to die. The a whole, mortal the, That's death. the like, whole point. You, he's just a person. Like, he's immortal. He's supposed to die a mortal death. He's not supposed to, like, disintegrate into ashes and fall like, to the ground. He looks like friggin' confetti. Like... Like, that's, that's one thing, like, that did really... That was really the one thing that made me so angry. Like, like, the whole point of, like, destroying the Horcruxes and everything was that he would be immortal again. He would die a mortal death. Yeah. His body should have been lying there. In, like, a heap. As not, if anybody else died. Yeah, not ash... Mm, no, stop. <laughs> How much does Harry Potter mean to you? Honestly, I said it means, like, everything to me. And I know that's, like very like some people might think like oh my god she's like exaggerating she's just like oh yeah she's just one of those people who like everybody likes Harry Potter but like no I grew up with them like it was so important to my childhood like I hated reading like I had a problem with reading and like I finally like the first book that I didn't have a problem with like reading was Harry Potter and like it just gave me this connection to it ever since. And, like, I grew up with the characters, like, in my life. Like, we're the Harry Potter generation. I put... Can't even fit how much on paper. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. Yeah. It's my childhood. Yeah. I mean, you grow up with the stories. You grow up with the characters. Mm -hmm. And then I just... I mean, like, I want to be part of that world... <laughs> um, you know, though, like, it was my childhood. I grew up with it. Like, I make connections to it all the time. I know a whole lot about it. I make references to it. I use it in everyday life. Like, you, like, us, like, that's one of the things we really bonded over. And Potterhead for life. Yeah, I'm seriously. Like, I'm going to read my children these books before they like, can read them themselves. Kids, like, don't read it, like. No, I disowned. disowned. Like, like, I'm Get under that name. cover under the like... stairs. <laughs> That's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed us like ranting. I was gonna say, getting we so went emotional all. about we went, I, I'm like, I'm like tear. I got teary eyed. I'm like I said, I'm a mush. Anyways, hopefully, like you guys are Potterheads too. Like, yes, we can bond over this. Yeah. Comment below and maybe answer the questions in the comments. So we know more about you and your putter headness. Maybe grab a friend and actually just film your own response. Yeah, that would work too. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, and I really hope you did, or if you're just a putter head like us, give the video a big thumbs up. That would really help us and make us really happy. Click the subscribe button below to subscribe to our channel. We try to put out a video every week for you guys' entertainment. And we will see you next week. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>